guys. Welcome back. Let's play more Fire Emblem. Fire. Ooh. I have to instruct manually. Um. Who though? Leonie. What the heck should I give her? I think we were doing this. Good job. Get her up there. I'm getting it. Okay. Hi, Scythia. Get her up to Gotta keep D. Uh -huh. is, like, <sighs> problem is like it's she's not very strong with that though. doing good with authority. And why not just do axes? Try with Ash. So this I've learned. And that's it. <sighs> Goals. Guess we'll just keep them as they are. I don't know, man. Uh, professor? I have something I'd like to ask you. Take part of my experiments. Even the most industrious student runs away from me, no matter how I sincerely I flee. Do you have any suggestions? I pay them handsomely. I don't run from a great teacher. I think the word experiment would be scaring them. I see. That's how it is. Hmm. Uh, kind of worked, I guess. Oh. Axe and bone? Sure, why not? I don't know. Ash. Okay. Hey, Professor. Did I ever tell you what happened with that thief? Uh, nope. I remember. He ran after I ran it. After him, and I did manage to catch up. Yeah. But... I uh, couldn't get him to pay for the book? Sort of. I actually decided not to make him pay for it. <laughs> huh. My pockets were pretty empty after that incident, if you want to know the truth. Well, what happened was, when I caught him, I asked him why he stole the book. He said he thought it would fetch a good price and that he really needed the money. He had a sick kid and hmm. couldn't pay for medicine. Sounds like I didn't look old enough to have children. No, oh, maybe you're right. But if he really did have a sick child, that would be a matter of life and death. A little money is nothing compared to that. I'd rather believe a lie than risk someone's life if I'm wrong. And to be completely honest, there was a time when I wasn't so different from him. 
It was a long time ago, and I've put all that behind me now. But yes, I was. My parents mm. died of illness, so I had to provide for my little brother and sister. I did my best to earn money for them legitimately. I wonder if you'd make a good thief. I wasn't able to bring home enough. So I turned to thieving. From people on the streets, from shops, even from soldiers. I knew so we have his picture right now, seeing really. My brother and sister's smiling faces made me too happy to stop. I really regret that part of my life. I was stupid. But shortly after I turned nine, I crept into a local noble's mansion, aiming to steal whatever I could get my hands on. The noble had all sorts of valuables, but what really caught my eye was a book with a fancy cover. That book was Lug and the Maiden of Wind. The night in the illustrations was so impressive, I just couldn't tear my eyes away. Hmm. He was the one that liked the book. You probably see where this is going. Moments after I grabbed the book, I was caught in the act by the noble. And that noble was none other than Lenato. But Lenato was incredibly kind. Without asking any questions, he gave me the book. And money, too. When I told him I couldn't read, he invited me into his mansion, along with my brother and sister. He taught me how to read, personally. So, with the thief I caught in town, I was trying to do the same thing. To be like Lenato. I want to make up mm -hmm. for the bad things I've done. To leave this world better than I found it. That's why, even if it wasn't easy on my pockets, I'm proud to say I helped him. Good boy, Ash. <laughs> I know what you're trying to say. My contribution probably won't change much. And it's not like I have the money to help everyone who's suffering from poverty. <laughs> even so, I can't bear to stand by and do nothing. What else could I have done, Professor? Sure, we'll give it a try. I don't know if it'll be any good, though. Seems to be pretty difficult. Mm. Why am I here? <laughs> I thank you. Hmm, <laughs> Felix. Not bad. Figured. Yes. Oh. What? Impressive. There we go. Nice. Thanks for your hospitality. I hope you'll invite me again sometime. All I've learned. Weight minus three. Seems simple enough. <laughs> I'm a natch. I'm getting the hang of this. Technique never betrays. I don't think she's gonna be any. <sighs> Try to be a paladin, I guess. Alright, let's do it. 
save first. What do you support? Spare a moment or two. I was wondering, do you have any interest in fashion and makeup and stuff like that? I haven't the time to bother with such frivolities. As long as basic hygiene is being met, then I'm happy. Oh, but you're missing out on something so fun. I mean, it's not like you need it, of course. You've got beautiful bone structure, lovely hair, long legs, but aren't you interested in trying something new? Um, well, thank you. I suppose I do find it all somewhat intriguing. But my time is precious to me, and my focus is on knighthood. Taking time to paint my face simply isn't a top priority. Sure, but imagine if you could combine the two and become the most fabulous knight ever. Okay, maybe I'm taking it too far. I know knights don't necessarily need a ton of makeup or things like that for the job. I'm just saying, I really think you'd enjoy it if you opened your mind to it. All I'm talking about is a light touch. I can see it now. Your gorgeous face done up with a delicate application of makeup. The fabulous knight who everyone looks up to and wants to be. Um, well, maybe? I guess. That does sound mostly harmless. Hooray! Okay, we don't have a moment to lose. Here, take this makeup kit, play around with the colors, and see what speaks to you. Now, wait just a... I actually got that little kid as a gift the other day, and I wasn't sure what to do with it because I already have that one. It's a limited palette, but I think it fits the look you're going for perfectly. I actually never agreed to start putting that stuff on my face, Annette. What? Oh. Well then, I guess this whole kit will have to go to waste. I'll just throw it away like the garbage it is. You're throwing it away? I can't just stand by and let something go to waste. <sighs> okay. All right. Thank you. We can do this. <laughs> That's the spirit. Oh, and I'm happy to help you learn to apply it, too. Come on, let's go to my room. I have some brush techniques to show you before you get started. Now, don't get carried away. Ugh. She played me like a fiddle. She certainly did. <laughs> Okay. Save. Um. We really need to get these certifications going. Uh, we're gonna try another paladin. Nope. Failed. You've got to be kidding. Poor Leone. That wasn't that bad either. 76%. We'll have to wait. Maybe I should just not worry about that. I still don't get what class changing helps with. Because they don't get... Uh, maybe it affects growth somehow. Because I don't see them getting any stat gains. Maybe it ups the... The caps, too? I, I, I don't know. I'll have to look into that. Hmm. Questions that need answers. Let's just see what other certifications we can do. I wanted her to become like a Valkyrie, but I don't know if that's actually a class. 
Oh, there is. Dark Knight. Or, uh, Holy Knight. Interesting. This masterclass, though. She's only a sixty five percent chance. Um, Bishop. <sighs> yep, I think we're just gonna have to wait. It's pretty much the same as they've been for a long time now, though. What should I do? Um. Who, who's he even trying to get? I think Felix was one. I really need to redo all of this too, like their abilities and everything. Oh, that's gonna be a, an undertaking. I don't know what to do. Let's see about seminar. I still don't know what it was I was trying to increase either. No. Okay. Uh. Felix wanted speed and something sword, didn't he? need a reason. You know what? I could try reason, I guess. Bad feeling about this. Much to learn. Not a total waste. I've got a grasp on. I understand more every day. Bad feeling. I should have explored and tried to recruit Felix. You know what? <laughs> I hate to do this. But I feel like I could just up my skill anyways by speaking with him when I'm exploring. Of course I can't for everybody, but I don't know. Uh, we'll see what happens if we explore. Min, 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 min. 
Alright, let's just explore. Had enough of this. Alright. We will go to... Ignaz was another one that we were trying to recruit. Um... Him. How do I recruit him? Damn it, tell me. to know. painting of course he was the artist um how to recruit uh dexterity and authority all oh, right how much authority do i have a lot of authority. Yeah, B. Dexterity is pretty high, too. I should be able to recruit him. Well, what the heck, man? Maybe I need to up his skills a bit. Like his... I'll bring him in to... Uh, yes? uh, Felix. Alright, we, we don't need to... Speed and speed and sword around B level. Hmm. Really? That high, huh? Hopefully, we can get around that with a bit of luck. I need to find one that Felix and Ignaz, like, how's a pain? Ooh, come on. This food is a revelation. <laughs> I can't help but smile <laughs> when I eat it. K. 
Okay. Hooray! Speaking when he's ready. Uh, he should be ready. Um. Whoops. Where's my support with Felix? Should be... It's only B. Um, where is he? Uh, let's give gifts to Felix. I did last time, didn't I? We still our next battle. Take it. All right. All right. Is that enough for you? It is. Perfect. Um. Does he have to stay? <laughs> okay, I've decided on the composition. Composition? That's right. The composition for my next pig. Wait, Professor? How long have you been standing there? You haven't been <laughs> watching me, have you? Uh, no, I misspoke. Did I say painting? I meant to say, uh,. Yes, he paints. Well, I've thought for a while that it might be nice to paint the scenery here. The contours of that tree, set against the stark shapes of the faraway peaks. Of course, I only paint after I've finished my chores. I'd never put my art before my responsibilities. My studies are paramount. I shall always uphold my duties as a student of the Officer's Academy. Whereas art is... a hobby of mine, you might say. Everyone has hobbies, right? I'm sure you have one. Nothing comes to mind. Oh, well, perhaps it's different for you, Professor. But it's perfectly normal for people to have hobbies. Reading, for instance, or fishing, or taking midday naps. For me, it's making art. Hobbies are healthy. They're a good way of relieving stress. You might consider taking up a hobby, Professor. Anything to clear your like mind. Playing video Think games. It. It's much easier to focus if you're feeling <laughs> refreshed. There isn't a rule against hobbies, is there? If you tell me to stop, I'll stop. I shall never again put brush to canvas. Paint as much as you like. Really? It's okay for me to paint? Well, I mean, if you're sure. But really, it's nothing more than a little diversion, a frivolous pastime. Um. I think I ought to go back to my quarters now, if it's all the same to you. See you later. Okay, we got him to see. Let's see if we can give him more gifts. What if she shows? Um, gardening, studying government, uh, traveling or cooking. Uh, he likes. Art. Thank you so much. Tactical thinking. All right. Well. Thank you so. Oh, he really Thank likes so these. Much. Um, is that enough? I don't know if it's enough. It's not enough. What if she shows? Um, I might end up just giving him all of my gifts. Thank you very. much. Thank you very much. Bitter flavors. Thank you very Thank you. Thank you very Thank you. Is this enough? It's still not enough. Okay. Um, I know what we might do. 
Um, we will sing. Might as well start working on somebody else that I don't have. But who do I not have? Uh, I know Raphael for one. Um, oh, Lawrence. He wanted reason and authority, I think. That's another guy. Here, let me pull him up. And yeah. Okay. Um, well, we need to speak with Hanuman for that. Not you, Flane. Or you. Are you unfortunate if that still? It would what? Blah, 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 She does faith. I don't think there's anybody else who does uh, reason, unfortunately. Oh, she does. Excellent. Oh. Practice. It's something. Okay. Let's go do this singing. And we'll sing with Lorenz and Ignaz. I think I'm hearing a phone buzzing. Music speaks to the heart. It's more powerful than any weapon. The heck? Well, it was. Yeesh. Man. Nobody ever calls me ever. If it is, it's... Exactly. I can definitely say nobody calls me ever. <laughs> oh. I imagine it's probably for you anyways. Because you lost your phone. I bet it was. That'd be funny. I, then I could then I could definitely say nobody calls me. Oh come on. Telemarketers love you. That doesn't count either. <laughs> Telemarketers. Yeah they call. They call everybody. You should probably check the phone number though, just in case it, it could have been your mom or something, but I don't know. You're certainly not going easy on me. Hmm. You fight like a mercenary. Oh well. Right. You hunger for victory, pure and simple. You may not be aware of it yourself, but I see it. Um. Uh, he's all about kind of like criticism and stuff. No. Knights oh. have to have some hunger. I, I failed. So. They depend too much on their swords. Only when they're rested away do knights consider their hands and feet as weapons. That's not how it was for warriors of old. They weren't limited by their tools. Victory is what matters, not the method of achieving it. That's the attitude to adopt. I detect that in your style. It is plain to see. Doesn't seem like praise. <laughs> you may take it however you like. I believe the difference between us lies within that hunger. But where does it come from? From the start, I was aiming to win. 
yet I couldn't defeat you. Then I remembered something you said before. Um, I don't know aspirations. Indeed. Woohoo! I was raised to value strength above all else, whereas you had a reason, an ambition, pushing you toward that hunger. So tell me, what was the reason? Why were you driven to become so strong? Um, I bet you he would protect people of Foldland. <laughs> Spoken like a knight. That's not what I would have expected. So yeah, that I figured is the he wouldn't. Of your hunger. I suppose I must find my own. I hope you. Ah, uh, if we're to get along, I think not. I'll be content if you continue to train with me. Perhaps it will come to me as I swing my sword. Okay. You know what? We should actually start getting our skill up um, in armor too for just in case we might get Raphael. Who knows? Where is... Mm -hmm. uh, oh! I was just having clearing out the... Okay. Um... I don't think Gilbert or Catherine does either, but I'm gonna check just to be safe. I think I've gotten these straight by now. Nope. Now E plus. Bad, bad. Once we, it will happen. No, I didn't think she did. Hmm. All right. Well, we got a couple of uh, skills. No, we just have one more. What should we do with it? Um, I'm tempted to try and get Ignis up to B. How would I do that? Try to give him more gifts. I'm almost out though. Hey there. <laughs> you know what? Let's save it. Let's see if he'll join. The ritual at the holy tomb. What if she should? Ah, professor. Hope, um, I'd also like yeah. to talk to you about my future and. Yeah. Know? Oh, thank you. I'll study and train as hard as I can. Thanks so much. Ooh, ooh. Oh, we got him. Um, I suppose we were going to be... Felix might be the next best one at this point. Just give it a shot. Tranya, Solon... We still our next people say you're quite skilled. Perhaps if I joined your class, I could watch your spin. Yeah, team. I think I'll transfer to your class then. All right, so we we only have two people that we can't. Um, Lorenz and Raphael are the last two people that we are able to recruit. So we need to work on reason and armor for those two. All right. Uh, just to be safe, though, what actual stat uh, charm? Yeah, we had way enough of that, if I remembered. I remember that. Um, reason around C. Yeah. So I know who we should. Uh, Use this last one to invite uh, Lorenz and Raphael. Then I don't know if we're gonna have enough time to get both of them, uh, but we can try. 
Where is uh, Lawrence Lexus? What about Raphael? Where is he? Raphael is neutral. Oh, he doesn't like that either. Uh, he likes this, but does Lorenz. Nope. Damn it. Don't tell me this is going to be another uh, Felix and... What was it? Marianne issue that we had? Uh, it might. Uh, Raphael. Likes it. Lawrence is not. Raphael likes it. Lawrence does not. Raphael likes it. Oh, yes. Perfect. Just what I needed. Mmm, delicious. Don't worry about finishing your portion. I'll gladly clean it up after you. Could you eat a little more quietly, please? Mm, those manners are <laughs> disgraceful. Hooray! Let's see. I got him up to C. Perfect. Alright, uh, where though is he going to show up? Oh, over here. Alrighty. I should probably give him some gifts. What does he like? It's definitely up to something. I imagine weight training is one of them. Oh, Professor, are you here to train? Uh, yeah. I knew it. Got to train daily. Legs, back, <laughs> chest, arms, abs. Got to work them all, right? I just finished training, <laughs> and I feel great. Do you even lift, bro? Are my muscles bulging? Ah, <laughs> uh, sure. Another day of training, and my muscles are ready to burst. Bulging muscles means strength. I have to be strong if I want to be a proper knight. And I have to eat if I want to keep training. Time to feast. Uh, studying me, yeah, it should be also be important. Ah, way to hit me where it hurts, Professor. I know I'll be in <laughs> trouble if I don't train my brain, too. Anyone who can't get tactics can't be a proper knight. It's just... It's true. I'm no good at remembering that kind of stuff. And training my brain instead of my body makes me sleepy. What if I start training twice as hard? Then I should only have to study half as much, right? Uh, no, that's not how that works. <laughs> you really think so? I can't let that happen. I guess I have no choice. I'll prove I can do it. Wish me luck, Professor. For my training and for my studies. You can do it. I believe in you. Alright. Let's see if we can buy more gifts. Um... Do we need to worry about Lorenz? I think I had him at B. Hmm. I did not. Alright. Let's get some gifts. Hello there. He's gonna love that weight training. Um, this one, yes. Bye. I thank you. Um. The heck would like. This one, yes. 
I don't think Lauren's liking any of this stuff, this but let's just... give it a try. I think we're good there. Return soon, please. Hey, welcome. You have a good eye. A pleasure doing business. You have a good eye. A pleasure doing. You have a good eye. A pleasure. You have a good eye. A pleasure doing business. You have a good eye. A pleasure doing. You have a good eye. You'd love that. A pleasure doing business with you. Okay. Uh, you meet this probably Raphael would like that. Okay, I think Come again. that's good. Let's give them their gifts uh, after what I replenish. Do you require? Farewell. Oh, I don't need to. Even better. <laughs> Alright, where is he? What the? He's over here somewhere. the weight thingy. Yeah, there it is. is this for me? There. Um, still not enough. Did anything else? Uh, I might be back. Uh, let's go. Where is he? Over here. Mm, he was outside, right over here. To be honest. Okay. See like tea leaves? Uh, I figured. And the dapper oh, handkerchief. Right. What? Really? Huh. Go figure. Well, state government, I have no idea. Wait a minute, let's see. I got my list here. Mm -mm -mm. You should help me figure out what kind of gifts he likes. Monitoring Claude. Writing poetry, tea, red roses, art. Uh, this likes coffee. Huh. Well, I won't give him the coffee beans then. I can't really think of anything else. Maybe this? Nope. Board games? Nope. Uh, yeah, like that? Nope. What, what the heck, guy? Dude. You're very, being very difficult. Look at that. I didn't even get anything. Be honest. Oops. I'll feather. Take it. Still not there yet. Alright. Well. Hopefully we'll be there for next time. That's about all we can do. Celebrate your birthday. D party. This is delicious. Mm, what do you look up to? Ah, I figured she'd like that. Uh, 
place you'd like to visit. One of these two. Place you'd like to visit. There we go. What else would she like? Value learning allies? Aha! I got her figured out. Talking to you feels worth my time. I feel there's a lot I can learn from you. Um, praise. Damn it. Ah, that tea was delicious. Invite me again sometime. See ya. Bye. Alrighty, here we go. It's the end of the month. Time for a mission. Should we choose to accept it? Let's just do the mission. Actually, let's... Uh. Uh oh. Mm, we got... Dude, we got paralogs we can do. Available until 2 2. 2 22. Uh, that's past. Uh oh. Then that means we could never do it. Crap. Well. At least I assume that's what that is. Okay, um, I'm gonna save. I don't care, let's do the mission. Blah blah blah, save again. I am grateful. Are you surprised, Professor? This is the Holy Tomb. To think that there was such a vast space beneath the monastery all this time. It's hard to imagine that any of these enormous contraptions are of this world. This is where the goddess who created this world was laid to rest, along with her children. It is said that our creator, the goddess Sophus, sat upon this very throne. Professor, do you recognize this throne? Why would she ask that? Obviously, I mean, we do, but... Yes. So long. I have waited so very long for this day. Sit upon the throne. I have no doubt you will be gifted a revelation from the goddess. Um... But so this is gone. Well... It was supposed to be but a step away. What could possibly be missing? So this is gone. That's what the problem is. Stop right there! Stop right there, criminal scum! <laughs> Don't move, any of you. If you move, your lives will be forfeit. Thank what? you ever so much for guiding us this far. The Imperial Army will now take possession of everything in the Holy Tomb. <laughs> What's the Imperial Army doing here? Wait, does he work for the Flame Emperor? So the Flame Emperor is connected to the Empire. I never thought that possible. Edelgard... Did you know about this? Yes. In fact, I gave the order. I am the Flame Emperor. I guess that's the end of play in school, Lady Edelgard. I mean, your majesty. Get to work, everyone. The Crest Stones belong to us now. And take those filthy bones, too. <sighs> Insolence! You will atone for the sin of trampling on this holy resting place. Professor, yeah. destroy I these was definitely spoiled. Dare dishonor our creator. Wait, 
What's the meaning of this, Edelgard? You... made use of us? Why? I'm sorry, my teacher. I cut this path, and now I must follow it. My friends, I ask that all of you stay back. It is not my intention to fight you. By order of the Adrestian Emperor, Edelgard von Hresvelg, I command you to collect the Crest Stones. If anyone attempts to stop us, kill them. Needle guard. Thank you so much. Thanks so much. Thank you so much. I am grateful. Dude. Tough to take down, doesn't she? Hopefully, okay, she's not what we equipped her to be. here. Who do we want to deploy? Switching Manuela out for Jameer, maybe? I don't know. Alright, no, we'll just do this. Allow such violence from the Empire. Strike down the rebels and protect the Holy Tomb. Got the it. Crest stones are in the caskets. Open every last one of them. The Holy Tomb must not be desecrated. Protect as many of the crest stones as you can. Defeating the foes that have them can represent the number of crest stones. Okay. Will do. Let's get to it. Um, so, do we know who's going to, I guess these are the tombs here, and does this mean these guys are going to take them, or these guys? I will get the victory. Oops. 
Ready. Seems I prevailed. Here we go. Winning shot. What's the difference? Seems like this is more damage. one of those crest stones that is enough do you even know what those stones are hmm oh boy okay um this could be a pain Get this guy though. This guy. here but Most fraud is a faith skill in this game. Not my nice try. Battle. All right. 
What? Yeah, she's in trouble. use that axe? She might be able to. Uh, oops, I discarded it. I was a fool. She can't use it either. Dagnabbit. Alright, you just got to take this guy out. that. Still have an issue with this guy though. I got an idea. We can still do this. Uh, that won't work. If we go over here, it might. I want to try to rescue uh, you. Damn it. Her taking a hit, actually. 
Okay, we'll leave her there. Alright, let's see what happens. I missed. That's all. Okay. Is a vulnerary? Only ten. All right. Yeah, so nice of you. Each battle, a chance to grow. He's sneaking around. Could. Why did you have to do this? That's the thing you didn't. Let's keep our guard up. My brother will be pleased. Uh, she can hear. Good. Yeah, how lovely. Um. More experience. 
Have I? That was a nice level up. Okay. Not liking this guy coming down over here though. He's that boss guy. Okay. Well, let's see what we can do here. I thank you. counter. Is she out of magic? She is, isn't she? Okay. Um. Get this. Manuela, what can you do? You can take him out. I'll let you do it. She reminds me of, uh, I'm glad I can count on you. what's her name from Path of Radiance? Oh, I can't remember. I think it started with a C. She was a mage and she used, used daggers and stuff too. I think she was the wife of Largo? Okay, finish this dude off. By left, you can do it, right? Yeah, waste him. Okay, so he's got a bend and edge, which I think just has one, uh, one attack range. It does. Let's just annihilate this guy, shall we? Told it's fine to kill those who resist. Now then, how shall I cook you? How about we cook you instead? <laughs> Question. We weren't supposed to recruit him or anything, were we? <laughs> Let's check. in the holy tomb. I didn't think in this game you would recruit people on maps. annoys me. Probably would help if I knew what chapter it is. Not Holy Tome. Oh my goodness. That might be why I'm having an issue. Tome. Here we go.
<laughs> nope. I'm not seeing any kind of... Stone thieves first. Uh, yeah, I mean it doesn't say anything about recruiting him, so I'm not going to be worried about it. Victory received. It's only fitting that Byleth will be the one to fight Edelgard. She's probably... I don't know how tough Edelgard is either though. Wait. Oh man. We actually have to go around? Oh fine then. 27, 28, 26. Thanks. Annette, you are the best. Yeah. Take a trick. They're all good. Really? Uh, I guess. Caution is needed. You'll be okay. Pride. Fun to watch. <laughs> All right. Good assist. All these items. Okay. you're not going to do that much damage to her. Well done. One thing about those rallies is I don't... I think they only last like one turn from what I've understood anyways.
you'll be okay. Another Tempest Lens. Despite what I said, I have no intention of killing you. So why not stand down and get out of my way? Can we just, like, escape? Slayer. Oh, that'll do it. I I can't though. It has to go to. It has to do this. It has to be Professor, this. I will make no excuses. Thank you for all that you did for me. In truth, no. Let's leave it at that. Worried that we messed up. <laughs> so, the end has come. Protected all the press stones. Nice, another one. And an advanced seal. MVPs. Petra, really? Disappointed me, Edelgard, to think that a descendant of House Heresvelk would dare betray the Holy Church. So, it is my teacher who stands in my way. I always knew it would come to this. Professor, kill Edelgard at once. She is uh, a danger no. to all of Fodlin. Such a rebellious heart cannot be allowed to keep beating. No, we are not going to kill Edelgard. You! How dare you! My teacher, I... Thank you. But are you certain that... No. Now isn't the time for discussion. Words cannot properly express my gratitude, Professor. This is the choice you have made. You are just another failure. Your presence <laughs> soils this holy tomb and disgraces my brethren. I will not allow one who would lend our enemy strength to wield the power of the goddess Sothis. I have passed judgment, and now I shall rip your chest open and take back your heart myself! Oh. <laughs> that uh. must be the Immaculate One. Yes. The monsters that have controlled Fodlin in secret for far too long. Rhea is their leader. There's no time to waste. Your Majesty, Professor, we must escape while we can. What? Controls the monsters? Heck is going on? Ugh. <laughs> I don't know which one 
Mines Witch now. I wish I had more save files. I overdid that one. I know I did. Oh well. Part one. White clouds. Lone moon. Outset of a power struggle. Together, the people of Fodlan relish the beauty of the brilliant moon overhead as another year ends. They recall sad partings and new acquaintances alike. But each person must still walk their chosen path alone. With each day, the presence of spring grows stronger, and yet a lone moon still haunts the sky. A silent reminder, perhaps, of some inescapable truth. somehow managed to escape. This is one of the Imperial Army's provisional camps. Here we can organize our forces. Before we go any further, I want all of you to really ask yourselves if you're certain you wish to join us. As expected, Flane has chosen to leave our ranks. When I saw our professor running off, I ran about as fast as I could to catch up. Caspar, death finds those who run without thinking. You gave no thought to the war fog. My grandfather was the leader of Bridget, and I hope for us to be allies with the Empire. I will be staying. W was this a good idea? Did I make the right choice? Oh, but my family is part of the Empire, and our professor is here. You're fine here with us, Bernie. Though it's true certain houses were against the Imperial Princess. I assume you're referring to my family. I must believe that the conclusion I came to was the correct one. You are the Emperor now. I am the only one left who is qualified to guide you at this point. I'm only here because I know it would be troublesome to stand against you. I'm not just here for you, AD. I'm here to follow our dear Professor. Of course, I don't have any territory to offer, so Hubie may not even want me here. The greater our numbers, the better. Your reasons for being here are of no consequence. I think I understand where you're coming from. But now, I wish to hear of your resolve. Like you, I have risen to meet my destiny. I cut this path, and I will see it through to the end. Following me is akin to pointing a sword at the goddess herself. One misstep, and we fall to our ruin. You have now witnessed the Archbishop's true self. She is a cruel beast. Those who rule this world use that beast's power to fabricate miracles. All to control those who blindly believe in the goddess. They conceal the truth and force their lies on the nobility. They mercilessly annihilate anyone who defies them. I know this because I have lived it. After what you have seen, is there any room for doubt? The Church of Seros has great influence and power. Their control over the Lords of the Kingdom and the Alliance is nearly absolute. We are the only ones who can stop this indomitable enemy that has plagued our world for ages. We fight for humanity, for all of Fodlan. If you dare walk this path with me, take your first step. It's now or never. Thank you, my friends. We are the true face of the Empire, and we will triumph. Hmm. We'll see. That was incredible, Lady Edelgard. Thank you. Honestly, I'm relieved. They really chose to follow me. I was resolved to move forward alone if I had to. But in my heart, I hoped it wouldn't come to that. So long as I am here, you will never be alone. Please do not forget that. And... It would seem that the Professor also has a key role to play in this. You're right. Now, I must speak with our dear teacher. Please, make preparations. The messenger should be here shortly. Consider it done. Professor, may I speak with you? Mm-hmm. I appreciate it. 
I... What is it? I'm just anxious. It feels like the weight of this burden is crushing me. At this very moment, on my orders, I'm starting a war. An army far larger than the one that attacked the Holy Tomb last month will soon be locked in battle. Long devised strategies are unfolding across Foldland. Leaders are deciding their loyalties and preparing to fight. So many generals and soldiers will die. It's inevitable that civilians will get caught up in the chaos as well. There will be countless casualties. With a single command, the flames of war will rage across all corners of this realm. And I am the one who is giving the order. It's a path you chose, isn't it? Yes, it is. There is no turning back. No matter how much blood flows at my feet, I will not relent. We must break the bonds that the depraved church has placed on Fodlin. These sacrifices will allow us to create a future where we never need sacrifice again. It may seem contradictory, but it's the only way. <laughs> Listen to me. I made up my mind long ago. Yet here I am, seeking your approval. Tell me the truth, my teacher. Are you happy with your decision to stay by my side? Unlike me, you can still walk away from all of this. This path leads to the death of the Archbishop and the servants of the Church. Can you live with that? Mm, yeah, I chose the path too. I, never I made up my mind on saving her. I'm sorry, it was a foolish question. I believe in you, Professor. And you believed in me. With that knowledge, I have the strength to keep fighting. Let's go. There's something I need to say to Hubert. Your Majesty, the latest report indicates that our main army is advancing as planned. Also, the preparations mm -hmm. for your manifesto are almost complete. <laughs> we will be distributing our manifesto to every lord within Fodlan. We will expose the dark side of the Church of Seros and the foul practices of the nobles from the Kingdom and the Alliance. We will force the people of Fodlan to open their eyes to the truth and relinquish any remaining conviction to unite against the Empire. Certain nobles have already offered us their support. Yes, there are other nobles who oppose the Church. We will condemn those who deserve condemnation and forgive those who deserve forgiveness. We have already what? purged some Hubert speaking of forgiveness? That's My not like him. Among them. <laughs> How unfortunate. And soon we will invade and conquer Garrick Mach. Our main army has already departed the Imperial capital. They will arrive at the monastery in two weeks' time. There we will join forces with them. As for us, I'd like your opinion on how we should be positioned within the army. Your Majesty intends to fight alongside the Professor, correct? In that case, you will not be incorporated into the Empire's main army. Your squad can move freely about the battlefield under supervision of the Imperial forces. That would be most prudent. Now that I'm the Emperor, we can't let it slip that I'm following your command in battle, Professor. I fully object to the notion of you fighting on the front lines. Hubert, we've already discussed this. My apologies. I overstepped. Now that the details are settled, all that's left is to come up with a name for ourselves. Oh, In honor man. of our time at the Academy, how about we call ourselves the Black Eagle Strike Force? I love it. I'm so happy you feel that way. I must confess that I spent all night thinking about it. I'll leave it to you to prepare the Black Eagle Strike Force for departure. Hmm. Okie dokie. So, we lost Flane. That makes me sad. Hmm. Well.
Okie dokie. Let's see what we're offering from Tempers. So those are limited. To battlefield, by fracturing temporary game and segment and selecting to battle. Eh. Okay, so do we still have, like... Of course, now we can go through all of the... Ugh, I'm so sick of it all. There is so much to be done, yet all I encounter are new problems and pitfalls. Ugh, sometimes I wish I could spend just one day doing absolutely nothing and gorging myself on sweets. Hmm. She seems to take her responsibilities seriously, but let's do just that. Do you mean it? Just the thought makes me happy. <laughs> but Hubert would never allow it. It's too bad. Indeed. <laughs> it may not be possible now, but one day we will know the joys of idling. Mark my words. Is that a smirk I spy? Is it so amusing to you, me daydreaming of free time? You misunderstand me. <laughs> Your silly grin says otherwise. But let's put all that aside for now. There is something I've been meaning to tell you. I'm afraid this might sound a bit... sentimental. However... I want to thank you. Because of you, I feel I can walk my faded path without losing myself. If I were alone, I might have lost perspective and become a harsh leader with a heart of ice. But I'm not alone. With you by my side, I'm somehow free to be not only a leader, but simply Edelgard. Until now, no one has been able to surpass me, much less command me. I have always been seen as an untouchable princess or emperor. No one spoke to me as an equal or met my gaze without flinching. It was lonely. Terribly lonely. The only person I could rely on as I tried to claw my way out of the darkness was myself. But you... You have been a brilliant light. Somehow you have chased the darkness away. And for that, I will always be grateful. Alright, well, we can't... Mm -hmm. These oh, get these two as well. Ah, no. There we go. And that'll be it for the, the supports, anyways. So it truly did. You bought just about everything in the place. <laughs> You're so good at deciding the best thing to buy. I sort of wanted it all. I mean. Not that I was excessive. I think you bought just about as much as I did. Oh, really? The number of bags you're carrying says otherwise. What? That's... <laughs> fine. You got me. It was just having too much fun. I love shopping with you, Mercy. It was fun. It's nice going into town without having to run errands for once. Isn't it? And I'm pretty confident the professor will forgive our little detour. <laughs> This actually reminds me of going to school mm. in Ferdiad. Me too. It almost feels like that time in our lives was a story from long ago. So much has changed since then. Oh, but there's at least one thing that hasn't changed. Me and you, right? We're the same old friends we always were. That's just what I was about to say. I've known you so long I can always guess. Mercy, we'll stay friends like this forever, won't we? Is something wrong? You sound worried. Since our time in the capital, so much has happened. We've had to make new lives for ourselves, and we've seen at least as many hard times as good. If things keep changing like this, I wonder if we'll be able to stay the same people we are now. I wonder that too. I don't think everything in the future will be perfect, but it's us. So I'm sure we'll figure it out together, right? How did you know what I was going to say? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mercy, I can always guess what you're gonna say. Oh, it's getting late. We better hurry back before the professor gets angry. You're right. Run, Mercy! 
What? Wait for me, Annie. You know I'm not as fast as you. Run! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I think that's probably going to be it for now. Um, I don't regret my decision. All right. Well, Godspeed and stay frosty, guys. See you later. Bye.